silenced their thunder. Giants driven to the brink. In the cauldron of Yellowstone, a handful of these primeval beasts made a roaring comeback. Marvels of bioengineering, bison look invincible. But this American icon would be nothing without the lethal forces that shaped it. And now they've come back too. The wolf and the grizzly. Each out to kill. Even the landscape delivers death. And then there's the season of war when bison do battle with each other. For the first time in nearly a century, the Thunder Beast confronts its ancient adversaries on America's Serengeti. Under the chill spring skies of Yellowstone National Park, a drama of death and redemption is about to unfold. A herd of buffalo, also called bison, surround a fallen comrade. A victim of the park's brutal winter, a bull has died and the herd seems reluctant to leave it. But the arch enemy draws near. Wolves. Other than man, the only true challenger of the Thunder Beast. <laughs> They're enticed by the stench of death. At first, the wolves seem to carry the day. But the bison won't abandon the field. They return to their fallen, for now. Theirs is an ancient score, nearly settled by the black hole of extinction. Bison once beat trails across North America, shadowed by the wolf. Tens of millions blackened the endless rolling plains. But when the West was won, the bison and the native people who depended on them, lost. In the last decades of the 19th century, bison range shrank drastically. By 1908, only about a thousand buffalo remained, most in captivity. 23 wild bison beat the odds in a remote corner of Yellowstone National Park. And here, their comeback began. Now, their descendants number about 5,000. But wolves have a sadder tale to tell. Despised and persecuted, they were exterminated in the park by 1926.
then, in 1995, Yellowstone reintroduced Canadian grey wolves. The park's new wolves felt at home among the elk. They instantly went on the attack, with stunning success. But most of these Canadian wolves had never seen a thunder beast. Today, for the first time in 70 years, the ancient enemies face off. And as they revive their age-old conflict, the wild heart of Yellowstone beats again. Spring is a season of violence and rebirth. A bison cow heads alone into a wolf-filled world. Only one instinct has the power to make her leave her herd. Labor moves quickly. She checks for life. It's a bull. He's 18 kilos of pure instinct. These first hours are critical. He should be on his feet in 10 minutes and in an hour, ready to run. And he'll need to run. During his first year, his herd will migrate through the northern range, where wolves rule the turf like street gangs. The Slough Creek Pack. The Druid Pack. The Agate Creek Pack. These wolves have only begun hunting bison, but they get it. Pursued by ravenous killers, this calf will be a constant target. He's got only a 50-50 chance of surviving the year. But his first challenge is close to home, his own herd. One of the firstborn of the season, he's the object of their fascination. His mother fends off the more aggressive beasts, some 40 times his size. Storms haunt Yellowstone well into spring, giving predators an edge. Winter-killed bison are fast food for hungry grizzlies emerging from their dens. Calves make a warm snack if the bear gets the chance. With pups in the den, the wolves' hunger grows. They set out to hunt and target bison calves, but it won't be easy. In a world of wolves, a bison calf shouldn't tempt fate. The wolves approach, feigning disinterest. But their coolness may signal something else, that nature has already done their dirty work. 